Hey guys, it is Rob and the Genie. Say hello, Genie. Hello, guys. Uh, Genie and I are on the bike today. Amazing, huh? Yeah, finally a bike video. We are in downtown Winter Park, Florida. Actually, we're just passing by Rollins College. That's it over there to the right. And uh, we're on the lookout for our Solar Bear letter L, also known as loser. <clears throat> I mean, uh, lemon. Yes, lemon. Well, lemon, loser. It's close, right? And that brings me to my topic. You know, some people, they have a natural charisma and a natural amount of luck. I'm not one of those people. I swear I must have a big L for loser over my head. Because it seems like no matter what I do, it always turns tits up. And let me give you a little example of my latest adventure. I've been wanting an iPad. I've never had one, so I figure with Generation 4, a lot of the bugs are worked out. Uh, it's a nice, nice product, great display, a little pricey, but what the hell. So I finally pulled the trigger and I bought myself an iPad 4. Oh, that's Rollins College there, by the way. Lovely, lovely, yes, nice. If you're wealthy, you can go there. If you're poor, you can't. Anyway, um, back to my topic. So anyway, I bought the iPad and uh, I got the 64 gig version with Verizon Wireless. I ordered it through a third-party vendor on Amazon. The vendor had great ratings, so no worries there. Uh, I got the retail price on it, 829 bucks, plus like $6 shipping, no big deal. And I got it yesterday. No, I take it back. I got it day before yesterday. Sorry, I got it on Wednesday. No, I got it on Thursday. I got it on Thursday. What is today? Today's Saturday. Sorry, a little confused. So I got it on Thursday, and I was so happy. I was sitting there all night long configuring stuff and playing with it, adding apps to it. I've got an iPod Touch, so I had a few apps that I had purchased, so I was able to download those and, and load them on the iPad. And I synced it up with my iTunes library and uh, downloaded about 50 gigs worth of my music onto it. And I was so happy, and I was so happy, and I was playing with controlling my TV with the remote function on the iPad and you know I, I was having a good old time and Taryn was laughing at me saying yeah keep smiling it ain't gonna last she was right as I started trying to configure the Verizon wireless connection I wanted to just go with a simple data plan uh, one of the inexpensive ones like a one gig for 20 bucks a month or something just so when I'm not in range of a wireless connection uh, I would be able to log in through the cellular and do it that way. And then I noticed the cellular connection was already active. And when I went into the data account settings for the iPad, it told me that the SIM card had already been activated. And I'm like, WTF? What the fuck? Anyway, Friday, yesterday, I called Verizon, said, hey, look, uh, I'm getting this message, says I need to call Verizon because my uh, SIM card has already been activated and I need to get it changed over and make sure, you know, I've got an account set up. So I give him the SIM number and all that goody, goody stuff. And uh, he tells me uh, that, whoops, getting loud here. He tells me that he cannot activate it under my name because it is already activated. And uh, uh, anyway, I'm like, what the hell? So here's the thing. If somebody actually activated the SIM card, of which I was using their account, by the way, which is kind of funky, huh? They're going to have some data usage on their plan that they weren't expecting. That means that the iPad I bought was used technically used. Now, even if the person just bought it, took it home, set it up, took it back the next day, technically it was used. And that kind of pissed me off. Okay, so guys, uh, diverting a little bit, this is North Lakemont Avenue. I'm using the L in Lakemont. I've actually got a uh, 
place over here that I want to go that if it's still there, I'll use it. But in case it's not, that's my sign right there in Lakemont Avenue. Uh, L for lemon or loser for the topic of this vlog. Anyway, I contacted the vendor through Amazon and he's like, oh, you know what? Uh, if you just take it to a Verizon wireless shop, uh, I'll, I'll pay for you to put a new SIM card in it and get you all fixed up. Now, on the surface, that sounds okay, but why should I have to take a product which should have been new? It was sold to me as brand new. I paid full freaking retail for the 64 gig iPad, $829. Why should I have to take it to a Verizon place and, and have it uh, fixed so that it'll work? Plus the fact that, as I said before, somebody set it up already so somebody had to have purchased it taken it out of the packaging played with it and then taken it back so um, anyway uh, the guy agreed to take it back uh, give me a full refund so it's back in the postal service going back uh, but here here's the funny thing the literally the day after i pulled the trigger and ordered the 64 gig ipad Apple announces it's coming out with a 128 gig iPad next week. So you know what? I'm, I'm going to go whole hog and when the 128 is released next week, I'm going to order one of the 128s. Why? Do I need it? No. I just want it. Hell, I don't need a Hero Black and I don't need a motorcycle and I don't need a lot of things. And Jeannie's laughing here. Uh, I think those kids were laughing at our ears. But anyway, yeah, I don't need it, but you know what? I want it. What the hell? Gonna go for it. Anyway, this tends to be my luck around things. I never seem to catch a break. And I always seem to get shafted one way or another because I am eating the uh, cost of the shipping and all that stuff. Okay, the place I'm looking for is called Green Lemons Cafe. And that's where it should be, but it looks like it's something else, which I had a funny feeling. So anyway, uh, you did see my uh, Lake Mont sign. That's what it called, right, Jeannie? Lake Mont. Lake Mont. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go over here, park, and we're gonna do our Solar Bear run around. If I can find a place to park. Okay, Solar Bear challenge. Letter L for loser or lemon. Um, my Lake Mont sign's right there. That's the corner. I'll get a shot of it again as we leave. And uh, here we go in the middle of a busy shopping center. Solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, that's one. Solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, that's two. Solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, that's three. And that's it. And the lady over there smoking was looking at me laughing. Anyway, that's it. She's leaving now because she's scared. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's it. And my genie's laughing. Genie, do you want to run around singing Solar Bear? You can do it too. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll film you. Here, you hold this one in front of you. Here, hold this one in front of you as you run around saying Solar Bear. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oso polar. 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 I think that was three times. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> okay, are we a pair or what? Yes, yeah. we are. Okay, that's it, guys. Okay, I feel like a total douche. Uh, some young lady and her mother just pulled up and uh, asked if we wanted to have a picture taken. And uh, I told her no, but I told her she would be on YouTube. And I thought I had my camera running, but dang it, I had stopped it. So, uh, young lady in the red car, sorry. Um, I turned my camera off already. I do apologize. Uh, anyway, if you watched the earlier part of this video, you'll see what I was talking about, me running around acting like an idiot. Uh, now I feel like a real idiot because I told you you'd be on YouTube and you're not. My apologies. Anyway, uh, thank you for your offer. It was very nice. I very much appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.